Hi there, in today's video I am sharing five cheap family meals for four under £25. Any recipes that I'm following I will link below. One of the things I love doing is tray bakes. They are so easy, there's minimal mess and I only need to have the oven on. This is lemon and garlic chicken. So in a tray I've got some chicken thighs. I've added some halved baby potatoes that were from my Too Good To Waste box from Lidl. I've added a sliced red onions and sliced courgettes, lemon and salt and pepper. I toss everything in olive oil and cook for 20 minutes at 180 degrees. During that time I make the marinade, which includes oil, lemon zest, lemon juice, garlic, honey and some chicken stock. I pour everything onto the meat and the vegetables and cook in the oven for another 25 minutes. This is so easy and delicious and you could easily swap in any other veggies. I think it would be delicious with peppers and mushrooms and aubergine. Next up is salmon carbonara. I find salmon is expensive, but I just use two salmon fillets for this recipe for four people. I just took the salmon and fried it in a little butter with some lemon zest and some lemon juice. In the meantime, I cooked up some spaghetti. In a bowl, I whisk up two eggs, Parmesan cheese, single cream, lemon and some parsley. During the last five minutes of cooking the pasta, I also added some peas and some spinach. I love having these in the freezer. They're so cheap and easy to add extra veg to meals. Once it was cooked, I just flaked the fish and put it to one side. I drained the pasta when it was done and then I just split the sauce between my two lots of pasta. This was delicious with a bit more Parmesan cheese. My next recipe is cornflake chicken. I bought cornflakes ages ago when I wanted a money off coupon to go to Madame Tussauds, so I really wanted to use up these cornflakes. Chicken breast is expensive, but I like to buy a large two kilogram tray of chicken breasts from Lidl for around 10 pounds, which I split into three or four meals. So in a bowl I have got crushed cornflakes, smoked paprika, onion granules, half a teaspoon of salt and pepper and in the other bowl I have got two whisked eggs and some milk. I dip into the egg and milk mixture first and then dip into the cornflakes mixture. place the chicken on the baking sheet and then I just give them a spray with some olive oil cooking spray. These are so easy, I bake them in the oven for about 20 minutes and just make sure it's cooked through. I serve these with mini chipped roast potatoes and some salad. Next up is chicken sausage pasta. I love buying the Chipolata chicken sausages um, from Lidl or Aldi. I just chop them up and fry them in a pan. I've just added red onion, garlic, peppers and a few chopped mushrooms and cook those for a few minutes. To that I've just added some single cream which is so delicious and I just think it's fine to have that and split that between the four of us. I just cook that and bring all the flavours together for a few minutes and then mix it with some pasta and it is delicious and a really big hit in our house. Finally, I've got sticky Chinese five spice chicken. Again, it's another tray bake. I am a big fan of these and I'm using the chicken thighs again from Lidl. In a bowl, I've just mixed up some sesame oil, a small amount of honey, some five spice powder, some ginger, 
garlic and then added some hoisin sauce. I just pour this over the chicken to use as a marinade and it is really delicious if you've got time to leave it marinating in the sauce because it is so delicious but you can just add it if you haven't got the time. I just roast the chicken skin side, side up for about 40 minutes. At the end of that time I add in some chopped spring onions and some cashew nuts and then pop it back in the oven for another five minutes. I like to serve this with rice and prawn crackers. As you can see I'd actually forgotten to take a photo of the finished meal and I'd started eating it but it is so delicious. The kids really love this meal and it was so simple. I hope these recipes have given you some inspiration. Leave me a comment down below and let me know your favourite tray bake recipe. I've really been getting into them recently because they're so easy and delicious. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe and I'll be seeing you again soon. Bye.